Hey guys, this is Unbiased right here with my first YouTube video, and I came here with a review on the Samsung, actually an unboxing on the Samsung Series 5 laptop. I actually just bought these, bought this a while ago, forgot to do the unboxing, so I just really quick put it back in the box so you guys can see everything. Before I get started on the actual unboxing, I actually thought this was kind of cool. I bought this, I bought this from Best Buy, and then online, and I without even knowing, um... Oh, when I look at my email, it said this also came with it. And this also came free with the laptop, which I thought was kind of cool. Which the only thing that sucks was this disc, and this has no um, a disc reader. It's kind of weird. But good thing is that they emailed me and um, gave me the download link, so I could just download it directly. And this thing is good to up to. Uh, this thing is good for Windows and Mac, and up to three PCs, which is kind of cool though. But so let's get started with the unboxing here. Oh, um, let me read some specs. See if I get that in there. Sorry, give me one second. See if I get this to focus. Windows 8 operating system, Intel Core i5, 15.6 inch LCD HD screen, 6 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and 750 gigabyte hard drive. Laptops are made to be ultra thin and ultra light, and by all the reviews, this this thing is pretty beautiful. All right, why don't we start it here? Get that old autofocus on. All right. So here we have the power brick. What I really like it about the new, these new power bricks is that they're getting smaller, and I actually have the small LED indicator there. Put that on the side. Power cable. Power cord. Like the safety information and whatnot. Samsung. This thing actually has a lot of Samsung apps installed. You can go ahead and uninstall those if you like. Um, what you get most out of when new Windows 8 and Samsung apps all share play S Note. So yeah, use the guide, safety, quick start guide here. Put that away. Side. Here we have the actual laptop the physical let me get this out of the way dime yeah. I like this packaging it's really did not move at all this thing is like really snug around it all right here we go laptop beautiful laptop actually it's kind of a brush metal looking thing very reflective more reflective in the video than it is actuality but this thing is for a seven for a fifteen point six inch screen this is a pretty nice weight not too not too thick there um this is pretty much the closest thing I have the comparison so laptop is thinner than the power brick I know that's that should be usual but yeah, you know. So, reflect the Samsung thing. Alright, I want to go over the ports real quick. Here. Try to get this focused. Power cable, Ethernet. Uh, video out. Full HDMI out. USB 3.0 headphone jack. Here. We have LED indicators. You know, um, power. Caps lock is on. You know, those kind of things. Here, micro SD card reader and two USB 2.0s. Okay, go ahead and open that up. Oh, sorry. One thing I really like about this, even though there is no removable battery, yeah, you know, whatever. Even though there is no removable battery, they have a removable thing so you could change out your memory. This thing comes stock with uh, six gigs of DDR3 RAM, but you can max it out with eight. Pretty cool when a weight sticker here. Go ahead and open that up. See if I get this, get you guys a better view. One thing I did notice about this cannot open it. Focus there. Cannot open this with one finger. You kind of got to bounce it there. Okay. Alright. I mean, once you get it past a certain height away from the 
thing you actually could, but move that there, and here you go. Very, very beautiful laptop. I had one of my friends typing on this for a little bit, and she said it actually feels like an Apple keyboard. So one thing, Samsung, key, I don't know as far as keyboard-wise, but I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good compliment if you're being compared to Apple's keyboard. Not a fanboy of Samsung nor Apple. Just I just like good electronics, good services, and what they provide. And so the fact that this is compared to a pretty higher-end laptop, this laptop in total was about 640 after taxes, but the fact that it was compared to that, I guess it's pretty good, actually. You got the Energy Star sticker, International Warranty, Intel Core i5 sticker there. Samsung logo. So yeah, it has a full speaker grill. Even though it's a full speaker grill, this thing, the speakers are on this thing pretty much in there and there, which was kind of, I mean, still gave pretty good sound. Power buttons recessed. I'll try to get as low as possible so you guys can see that. Alright, so yeah, you can kind of see it's recessed and then the actual power logo is raised. The actual power logo itself is the button, the physical button. This is not a touch area, if I can say. Let's see, let's go over the keys real quick. Settings, brightness, down, up, display, mm, cancel the touchpad, volume, fan. Which I like is that you can control the fan depending on the needs. Wi-Fi on and off. Wi-Fi toggle. Keypad. In all honesty, it's alright. Out of out of ten, I would give the keypad a maybe a seven. It is not. It is. First of all, you have to upgrade it. Have to have to upgrade it at first, or else it's kind of be a little bit jumpy, a little bit non-responsive. But after the updates, about yeah, about. Because when I first bought it, there was, there was plenty, plenty, plenty of updates for it to do. But after the updates, it actually got a lot better. But scrolling and everything, the finger gestures aren't the best. Kind of the Windows 8 gestures, swipe from the top, the right, the left. Two finger scrolling, three finger. Actually, don't remember what three finger does, but yeah, those have those kind of things. Um, let's see what else. 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. It's not a glossy screen. Good thing it does seem to pick up some. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I get you guys right angle to see that. Nah, not really. But it is not a gloss screen. But it somewhat does pick up um, fingerprints and everything like that. But not too much. I know. It's, I'm pretty sure there's a. Everyone has a too much. I like guess just picks up every time you touch it. No, this is quite good screen. Um, it does shake a little bit, but. Nonetheless, it was very sturdy. Very, absolutely sturdy. So, yeah, guys, this is my review on the Samsung Series 5 laptop. Here. Got a full view. I'm by this right with my first video here, and I'll actually be doing, doing a review on this later on. Post that later on. I'll put all the links to where I got this and the sorry, internet security that comes with it. Not sure if that deal is still going on, but it's a pretty good deal. Um, I put the link to that everything in below. I'm biased right here, and thanks for watching.